In this lecture we are going to learn about the word aestum generis and what it means. The term aestum generis means of the same kind. General words following specific words normally apply only to such things or persons which are of the same kind or class as the specific ones. The rule provides that the general words are restricted in their meaning to the same kinds of persons and things as mentioned in the specific words laid down in the list. As an example, if a statute applied to mobile phones, tablets, ebook readers and other devices in commerce, it could be assumed that a PDA, personal digital assistant, would be included as other devices, but not a desktop computer. The rule takes a contextual approach and refers to words and phrases of the same class or genus of things. In the case of R against Edmondson, it was stated by Lord Campbell that where there were general words following particular and specific words, the general words must be confined to things of the same kind as those specified. Application of this rule limits the ambit of wider expressions and the intention of the legislature is given effect. Let's look at different uh, examples of the application of this rule. First is the case of Powell against Campton Park race course. A statutory provision in the Batting Act 1853 laid down that batting was illegal in a comma, house, office, room or other place. Comma, closed. The question before the House of Lords was whether Tattersall's ring at Campton Park race course fell within the meaning of other place. Applying the rules of aestum generis, the house decided that the general words had to mean an indoor place, as the other words in the list were all references to inside places. The Tattersall's ring was held not to be other place falling under the relevant provision as it was an outdoor place. So this is how this rule works. It looks around of the same kind. It should not be applied on something which is not of the same kind or is of a different kind. Another example would be Allen and Emerson. In this case, the court was asked to consider if funfair was included in the phrase theatre or the place of public entertainment. The court held that for the Aeustum generis rule to apply, there had to be at least two specific words in the list before the more general word or phrase. Accordingly, the phrase did include a funfair, though it was not of the same kind as theatres. The case of wood and Commissioner of Police of the Metropolis illustrated the difficulties of interpretation under this rule. Section 4 of the Vagrancy Act 1824 defined offensive weapon as any gun, pistol, hanger, cutlass, bulletin or other offensive weapon. The defendant used a piece of broken glass as a weapon and was charged under this act. The court held that the broken glass was not an offensive weapon under the act as it was not made or adapted for causing injury to a person. The fact that an atom may have potential for any such use is not sufficient for the item to be classified as an offensive weapon under this law. An interesting case illustrating this rule is R against Kensington and Chelsea LBC. Um, Section 59 of the Housing Act 1985 gave priority for the purposes of housing and benefits to those who are vulnerable as a result of old age, mental illness or handicap or physical disability or other special reason. Four asylum seekers facing extreme financial hardship had been deprived of benefits. They sought housing assistance from the authority on the basis that they were covered by the other special reason under the relevant provision. The court held that the asylum seekers were entitled to benefits and housing as such destitution was capable of being other special reason within the act despite the statute referring to physical and mental needs. The appeal against refusal of the assistance was allowed. Personally, I mean, I would disagree with this case, but there you are. Justice was served with this interpretation. So what is then the difference between Eustim generis and Noskitero Sokis? This can be stated as follows. The Eustim generis rule that we just learned is used for a list 
containing general words, whereas noskiterosakis is used for particular words and the comparison of that in a piece of legislation. I hope these two rules of language uh, has been clarified. We will now look at the third rule, expresso unius est excluso alterius. See you in the next lecture.